Hello, my name is Blue Bear, and today I'm going to show you how to disassemble and reassemble a Cherry MX switch, and I'm also going to show you quickly how it works. So here we have a blue MX switch. I also have in front of me, which you can't see on the camera right now, a black switch and a brown switch, which are already opened. Um, I'm going to start with opening it, of course. So for opening it, you have uh, various uh, possibilities. Um, for one, you can use these B switch tools, uh, which are very easy to use. Or if you have to lose switch, it's not on a PCB or, or anywhere else, uh, you can use pretty much anything. I'm going to use this. Um, so, if you have the B switch tools, you just put the tools in these holes right here. like this and I just press them together and you'll see that these will lift these little latch latching thingies and then you can just pull it open All right and I'm gonna do the same thing now again but without the tools so I just uh, just Push these up with the corner here, and make the same thing on the other side too. And there you go, it's open. I just have to pull it apart. Oops, there goes the spring, and there you have it. Alright, spring wants to go away. I don't think it likes me. Um, as you can see, this spring has quite a few coils, which usually means that's a bit um, well, that's that it's one of the lighter springs. In comparison to that, I have a black MX spring right here, and you'll see it has a lot less coils and it's also a lot stronger. All right. Now let's see what else there is. This is the top part of the housing, which also has a cherry logo on top. And these latching thingies. And the inside is not very interesting. Oh, and here you have the hole for the LED lags or an, uh, a diode. Wait, no, just for the LED. Then it goes somewhere else. Um, now to the bottom part of the housing. You'll see this little golden leaf spring right here, which is responsible for the activation of the switch. And the slider, which I'm going to come to later, uh, pushes against this leaf spring. And these are two pieces of metal and if they touch then this allows current to flow and this activates the switch basically. And this is the bottom side. And I also pulled one of the leaf springs out and this is what it looks like. I can see this is like movable. And if this touches the other piece of metal, and you see this right here, maybe, hopefully, then current flows. All right, now to the slider. This is a blue MX slider. You will see it has two parts, and these are not fixed, these are movable and this causes the click because this this white part will jump up and down and yeah that basically makes the click all right for comparison i have a brown mx slider here and you'll see these little feet the same as on the white uh, on the b 
Blue MX slider. Or very similar at least. But it's fixed. And these have a little bump, which also makes the bump in the feeling. For comparison, black MS MX slider. They have no bump. And they are linear. And here you have the blue one again. Alright. Now if you want to assemble these again, I would recommend to first put the spring in. Then the slider. With the legs pointing towards the leaf spring. And next up the top of the housing. With the cherry logo pointing towards the leaf spring as well. And just put it on top. Push it together, check if it works, and this does. There you go. I hope this, you uh, enjoyed this video and it was informative for you. And I'll see you next time.